All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, you know, uh, another day of preparation for Army. Uh, what they do offensively is uh, obviously a lot different than what we normally see out of teams other than Navy. Uh, so we've got quite a bit of experience against the under center triple option. Uh, they've had an outstanding season. They, they're six and one. And their only loss is to Cincinnati and, and really uh, played great against Cincinnati. You know, uh, I think frustrated them both offensively and defensively, and, and uh, we're in it right until the very end of the game. Uh, Going to be a physical, you know, disciplined type game. They don't turn the ball over very often. They, they really do a nice job defensively of, of playing with leverage and tackling and not letting uh, sh short gains, you know, turn into long gains. Uh, so you got to earn every yard against them. Uh, and uh, we're going to play well in all three phases. They're the 25th ranked team in the nation. So it's going to be a tremendous test for the Green Wave Saturday at 11 o'clock. Anybody got any questions? That's big for us. You know, we've, uh, uh, you know, we, we've had some opportunities in the past, you know, but in order to, to beat a, a ranked team such as Army, you know, you got to play real well. And you got to play real well in all three phases. They're, you know, they've got a, a team game plan every week, controlling the ball offensively, right, you know, dominating the clock, not giving up big plays defensively. You know, and, and uh, playing good field position in the kicking game, and you know we got to match all that. Well, number one, when you you, you know you, you work on it all week in practice, and then you get out there, and the speed of how they uh, uh, operate is a lot different than what your scout team was operating. So, oftentimes they'll get scores early in the game uh, while while teams are adapting to to the speed of uh, of how they do things. Uh, so we need to play well early, and, and you're correct. You know, you can get up by, on some scores with them. You know, now the now the clock's playing in your favor. So. Uh, but whatever the case may be, you just gotta, you just gotta be on point, you know, with assignment football when you play these guys defensively, you know. And then the same thing with the, with the offense, we we gotta do a good job of, of, uh, you know, understanding that they're they're not gonna give up the big one. They do a really nice job of, of, uh, you know, making you earn every yard, both in the run and pass game, which is uh, unusual nowadays. Well, you know, number one, they got good players. They, 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 they tackle extremely well. They play with great leverage. It doesn't matter what defensive scheme you run. If you play with leverage, you know, both over the top and, and then uh, outside in, inside out, and understand your fits, and, and then, the, then you do all that and you tackle well, you got an opportunity to be successful. I thought we did a good job of that last week. That's why we played really good defense last week against East Carolina. We didn't. There's a few times where, where we didn't fit things up. The secondary made the front guys right, and it was a gain of, you know, six instead of uh, 40 like we've had earlier in the year. So uh, we've, you know, they do a tremendous job of that. Just uh, playing leverage. You know, they're they get in and out of an odd and even front. Uh, they'll play some man. They play more man than probably people think, but they also do a good job of dropping into their zones and not having very many holes in their coverage. Well, our, our guys really, really like Patrick. He's he's a fine young man, and and uh, you know I think they were very, very genuinely happy for him, and uh, you know and that was one of his goals this year, and uh, he he does a, a super job of 
of uh, rushing the passer, but I thought he had a really nice overall game. Played the run well. He, you know, besides one uh, tackle early in the game, I, I thought he, you know, he, he really, you know, has one of his better games playing for the Green Wave. Uh, so we're really proud of him setting this record, and you know, that's uh, you know, uh, great testimony to him, his coaches. You know, Coach Dawson's done a great job with him. Coach Curtis uh, coaches him quite a bit, and. And then Coach Peoples, who's over at Indiana now, he he worked with Patrick for for three years, and, and uh, all those guys uh, just did a super job with with Pat, and uh, you know we're we're just proud of him for setting that record. Willie, what does sincere hang towards Travis this week, and how nice is it, depending on his status, to have a guy like Corey Dublin, who's a senior who started a full year at center as, a, as another option there? He'll be fine. He he practiced a little bit today, and he he should be good. It's great to have Corey. You know, we, one thing that I think Coach Kennedy has done a great job of is moving guys around to different positions, and and he, he works it in practice. You know, and, and that's what you got to do. So it's not a shock to a guy when he goes from left guard to right guard or or left guard to center. You know, it's you know we, we work those guys in a lot of different spots. So it's it's a second nature for him when they got to go do it in a game. Well, there's some opportunities in front of us, but uh, you know, I think our coaching staff and our players all understand we've got to, you know, focus on Army. You know, they're they're it's a, a big ball game for us. You know, top 25 team in the country, and coming to our place, it's going to be a physical, physical game. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, there's a lot of things we got to accomplish, but we we got to take care of uh, everything that we can possibly do this this weekend against Army. We're going to have to play well all three phases. Uh, we understand that. Well, I think there's some things that it can help us with. Uh, you know, a lot of our guys, all, well, maybe not as many as there were before, but, you know, Coach, Coach Curtis was, was with Coach Munkin for a, a few years at Georgia Southern. Uh, but, you know, we've played them quite a bit, so. You know, we, we know what they're wanting to do. They're going to have some wrinkles that, you know, that we haven't seen or we have to adjust to on the sideline or maybe run a little bit more of one thing than maybe we anticipate. But, uh, you know, they're going to have to do the same thing with us. You know, uh, the, one of them has the, the the two that are rotating now. One of them has a little bit more uh, uh, background throwing the ball, a really good passer, and a young man we looked at, and uh, you know, and then uh, the other kid's a little bit more of a runner, you know. But the, the thing you just can't do with these guys is fall asleep and and not have good eyes on on your man uh, in coverage, because they'll rip you on that. And uh, you know, we mix it up and play a little zone with man, you know, but. Uh, uh, you know, you need to have them earn every yard, just like they do with their defense. Have you earn every yard as well? But you're right; they they played a lot of quarterbacks this year. Anything else, Anything else for, coach? for coach? Thank you.